All right, we are live now, and you're the host. And please feel free to make me co-host so I can see the participants accordingly. I would be honored to make you co-host. All right. All right. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I don't know why, but your screen is lagging a little bit. Are you experiencing the same thing? You are lagging a little bit. Yep. I, I am. I wonder if it's because I'm outside. Yeah, yeah, because of the weather, I guess. Hi, Laura. Oh, I like your hair. It's so pretty. Hi, Peggy. Nice to see you. Hey, hey Fran. Hi, Deborah. Good morning. Can everybody hear? Hi, Nancy. Can everyone hear me okay? In and out. Oh, you know what? I know. I think I, I don't think I can be out here. I think I'm too far away from the Wi Fi. Okay, there we go. Hi everyone, uh, Christina will be joining us in a moment. Okay, my friends, can you see me? Can you hear me? I just moved a little closer to the house. I really don't want to go outside. I want to keep you outside with me. <laughs> so we'll try this. Okay, I'm so happy to see everyone. Hi, Dorinda. Hi, Rosemary, everyone. Okay, let me share my slides. <sighs> okay, I'm Christina, your guide for today. I live in Long Beach, California, which is why I get to practice outside. I just woke up this morning and the weather is so lovely. And yesterday it was so, it was so warm, really hot in the afternoon. So I'm so happy to be outside being able to practice early in the morning for us here. It's um, 830. So it's a nice way to wake up and just be outside and practice and breathe. So I'm so happy you're all here with me. I am a certified yoga meditation and spin instructor. And all of that that you see there is my background in health and wellness. Uh, I am um, super committed to all of us living our best lives, right? Being as healthy as we can in our minds, in our bodies, and our souls. And I believe fitness, I believe meditation, I believe the connection to mind, body, and soul is, the, is a great avenue there. So that's why I do what I do. And that's why I'm so happy to practice it here with all of you on this amazing Get Set Up platform. This is Stretch and De-Stress. Today is Soulful Sunday, the first day of a new week. You know how people who practice with me know I name my days. But Soulful Sunday, it starts our week. So when we come onto our mats, we're actually going to spend a few moments just kind of grounding and setting an intention. I'll invite you to set an intention for your practice today, for your week, right? Whether it's 
commitment to your health and wellness, um, eating better, finding more joy during your day, standing up taller during your day, right? Something about health and wellness, uh, an intention, like a goal to help us be more mindful throughout this practice today and throughout our week. Um, stretch and de-stress is always, always our yoga practice. We breathe mindfully through it. This practice, it elongates our muscle fibers, releases mus muscle tension, anxiety, and stress. It increases flexibility, and it does increase our strength as well. Because if our muscles are tight and knotty and we have blocked energy, it's hard, it's not easy to to come to other classes and build strength. So this is such an important class to take in relationship to other classes as well. So I'm so glad you're all here. Ah, at Get Set Up, we learn from each other. So having your cameras on does really help me help you. It helps me see if there are modifications that need to be made to keep you safe. Um, if you're not comfortable having your cameras on, no worries. Just if there is something, if pose we're going into or something that isn't feeling right for your body, please just unmute yourself and let me know. And I can make that modification for you. And don't be shy because the modification that you need could be the modification that four other learners have as well. And every time a question is asked, we all learn. We all learn from each other. So please don't be shy and please always ask questions. Um, we are live streaming today. So everyone say hi, live streamers. Hey, live streamers. Happy Soulful Sunday. Next time, register for a class and join us live. I'd love to hear what your intention is for the week or this practice. Um, get Set Up does not get paid to promote any specific products. And let me see, I want to make sure you can see my mat. Okay, I can probably come a little closer, actually. Um, does anyone have any issues I need to know? Any health issues? Any medical notes from their doctor? Anything I need to know to help keep you safe today and enjoy your practice? Okay. Does anyone have any requests? Oh, I'm so happy to see everybody. You're all so pretty in the boxes. So beautiful. Um, no Something requests. For neck. Something for the neck, mm. upper back. All right. Thank you, Charlotte. Anyone else? Okay, I will mute all. We will start it seated on our mats. Thank you for the few moments um, just coming a little closer, I was up at the top where that um, ping pong table is and the Wi-Fi there was just too thin. So just coming down here, it seems to be fine, right? If I freeze, if you can't hear me, Anthony's with us. Anthony, thank you. I know you'll let me know. I appreciate that. Everyone say hi to Anthony. Anthony, so great. We have such amazing TAs. All right, my friends. Ah, soulful Sunday. The beginning of a new week. Place your palms on your thighs to ground into the mat, into this present moment, and into your bodies. Close your eyes. Take three cleansing breaths in. So it looks like you take a deep breath in through the nose, and then you exhale it out the mouth like, just let it all go. Let the whole last week go. Let everything go. Bring yourself right here, right now. <sighs> Shake your head. Whatever feels good. Roll the shoulders. Get some movement. <sighs> and then once your three cleansing breaths are complete, close the eyes. Gently close the lips, connecting to our ujjayi breath, our nostril breathing. And begin to slow and deepen your breath. Roll those shoulders back and down. Elongate your torso like you're stacking the vertebra on top of each other. And then do a double chin back so the neck is in line with the spine. And just keep bringing your awareness always back to the breath. Begin to slow it. 
begin to add on to each inhale and each exhale. This week takes us to the end of our spring season. We'll be going into our summer solstice, the season of summer. Think about an intention that would help you this week stay in a mindful, positive, healthy state. What would bring you joy? An intention that at the end of the week, when we came onto our mats on Friday, you're just with yourself at the end of this week. What, after accomplishing that this week, what would bring you joy? What would make your soul smile? What would make you proud of yourself? something super achievable. It can be breathing mindfully every single day. Because how often do we do that? If we don't come to our mats. Something achievable, setting yourself up for success. setting yourself up to live your best life this week. Once that intention's here, once you know it, once you're solid in it, begin to bring it to the forefront of your mind and breathe it into your body. Fill yourself up with it. And may it be so. Fingertips out to the side. Walk them out. Keep walking them out. Warming up those arms, right? I always think it's so fun to walk my fingertips out. They can't go any further because my arms aren't any longer. But the activation in the arms, can you feel that? And then flip those palms. Inhale like you're drawing up heavy energy. Ah, Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Exhale, prayer, hands to heart center. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale it out, rolling the shoulders down. Inhale, the palms up and overhead. And exhale, the arms down. Inhale, bring that energy up and overhead. Exhale, bring it to heart center. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, shift to the left. Inhale, center and draw the arms up. We're extending that inhale here. Exhale, arms down. One more full round. Inhale, the arms up and overhead. Exhale, prayer hands to heart center. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, center, arms up and overhead. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale, prayer, hands to heart center. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center, arms up and overhead. Exhale, the arms down. Let's carefully bring those knees into the chest. Uncross the knees. Rock side to side. We're going to switch 
crossings. But before we do, let's extend those legs long and shake them out. I always feel so good right on the hip flexors after that. And then reverse the crossing. So if you forgot the crossing of your legs, don't worry, I do it all the time. <laughs> I don't know why. Even when I mentally like, okay, the right leg's forward, I still forget. So if you do that, no judgment. Place your palms on your mat. But when you do, make sure that we're not rounding forward, right? The back is flat. Bring the navel in towards the spine and roll the shoulders back and down. Keep the neck in line with the spine. Gently rock side to side here before we do anything. How does that feel? Close your eyes. So we rocked a little bit when our knees were at our chest. How does this feel different, right? Bringing mindfulness to your body. Pause in stillness. Take a deep inhale. Keep the shoulders back. Engage your core. Exhale, begin to walk forward. The moment you feel your shoulders round and your head drop, that's your stopping point. Pause and breathe. Keep the sits bones on the mat. If it feels good for your body, gently rock side to side. Pause in stillness. See if you fold a little bit more. Just exploring. Breath is slow and deep. Try to stay connected to the Ujjayi breath if it works for you. If it doesn't, then don't. But keep the breath deep and connected. On your next inhale, we're going to press halfway up. Lift ourselves halfway up. Pause. Inhale, and then exhale, walk the hands to the right. And then fold. Have a gentle tuck of the chin so you're protecting your neck always. Keep the shoulders away from your ears. Slow and deep in the breath a little bit more. Feel the expansion in the left side body. Inhale, lift yourself halfway up. Walk your hands back to center and then over to the left. And fold over that bent left knee, getting a beautiful right side body stretch. Tuck your chin. Deep in the breath here, a little bit more, slow it down. Feel that expansion in the right rib cage. Inhale, lift yourself halfway up. Walk the hands back to center. Gently sway side to side. If you want to fold a little more, you can, but do that if your neck can stay in line with your body, with your neck, spine, sorry. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Slowly walk the hands back up to center. Bring those knees into the chest. Uncross the ankles. Sit up tall. Hug those knees in, however that looks and then gently rock side to side. How does your lower back feel here compared to the other forward fold with our legs, with our ankles crossed, right? Just noticing our bodies. And pause and extend those legs and shake them out. Wave your feet high to me, the cutest visual. And then let's come into our tabletop we're going to come in a cat and cows before we do other things. But if you need, I, I'm on two pads here because I'm on concrete. So if you need a pad or a pillow or a blanket for your knees, please take care of yourself. Stack your joints. The wrist creases are in line with the mat. Press between the thumb and the index finger. Rotate the inner elbow forward. Have the shoulders over or behind the wrist, depending on your wrist health. When you rotate those inner elbows, you're stabilizing the joint. Bring your navel into the spine. Knees are under or a little bit behind the hips. 
we take an inhale, we drop the belly, lift the tailbone, the heart and the gaze. When you did that, make sure the shoulders did not creep up to the ears. Exhale, slowly hollow the belly, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin, dome those shoulders. This is cat pose. Inhale slowly through tabletop into your cow pose. Exhale, begin to hollow out that belly, tuck the tailbone, the chin, dome, those shoulders, push from the thumb and the index finger, strong arms. Inhale through tabletop into cow. Close your eyes and allow this to become a moving meditation. You can choose a body part, like let's choose your tailbone to either tuck or lift, initiating the move with the breath into the next pose. And the next time, wherever you are, the next time you come into your cat pose, extend that exhale coming into your child's pose and roll your wrist and sway side to side. And just pause in stillness here. Let the elbows fall down outside of you here or bring the arms long by the body with the palms facing up. Tuck your chin and allow your forehead to rest on the mat, a pillow or a blanket. It's okay if your glutes don't meet your heels. Breathe deeply. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Let's slowly bring the arms overhead again. Press the palms into the mat and slowly walk the hands up to the knees. Before we come back and work into some bottom stretches, we'll come back into a comfortable seated pose. Palms on the thighs, lift yourself up a little taller, creating space between each vertebra, creating space between each organ, rolling those shoulders back and down. So it's, the heart is lifted. The shoulder blades are trying to come together and the neck is in line with the spine by doing a double chin. We ground the sits bones into the mat and we lift the crown of the head up to the sky. On your next inhale, energetically lift the head off the neck creating space between the ears and the shoulders. Relax the shoulders though, right? Keeping the chest open. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, slowly lower the left ear to the left shoulder. Keep the left shoulder down. Pausing here. Make sure that our heads aren't rounding forward. We keep that ear over that shoulder. Option to support the head by just placing the hand on the left hand on the head. Option to extend that right arm out. And with your eyes closed, slowly begin to draw circles or wave the hand slowly around, getting a gentle stretch in the top of the shoulder and neck. Closing the eyes, keeping the breath deep and connected. Every exhale, release, right? Every inhale, we're breathing in life force energy. Every exhale, we release. We release out everything and anything that does not serve us. Pause in stillness. Keep the head exactly the way it is. Lower both hands down to the thighs. Take a deep inhale. Bring the head up. 
roll the shoulders back and down, find that length, grow tall here for a couple breath cycles. Inhale, lift tall, exhale, right ear to right shoulder and pause here, making sure that head doesn't fall forward. Place the right hand gently supporting the head, extend that left arm out and slowly move it however you need to. Does the side feel different than the other? Just noticing, being aware of your body. No two sides are ever the same. Left brain, right brain, yin, yang, so much going on. Pause in stillness, keep the head exactly the way it is. Place the palms on the thighs, take an inhale, bring the head back. Roll the shoulders back and down. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, draw the chin to the chest and pause here. So we're not dumping, right? We're not dumping the head down. The shoulders are back and down. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Inhale, chin to chest. Exhale, right ear to right shoulder. Inhale, chin to chest. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, right ear to right shoulder. Inhale, center. And lift. Chin is parallel to the mat. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale it out the mouth, gently blink open the eyes, draw those knees in again, squeeze them in, rock side to side. And let's come on to all fours once again. Stacking the joints. So here we're going to lift that right knee. We're going to draw the right knee to the right shoulder, drop the right foot, grab onto the calf, and bring it between the hands, however you get there, right? The right foot is between the hands. Awesome place for blocks, my friends. Elevates the body. Shift that right hip back, that left hip forward. Roll the shoulders back and down. <sighs> Bring the navel in towards the spine and just feel that elongation. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, walk your hands or the blocks back, lifting the toes off of the mat, keeping those hips neutral. Take a deep inhale, walk forward, getting some movement in those hips. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Our slow, our breath is slow, right? Exhale, walk it back. Inhale, walk forward. Exhale back. This time when we're back, pause, take an inhale, exhale, begin to shift the hips right and left. Ah. So that left knee can be on a blanket, a folded blanket. There are also yoga um, knee pads that aren't as thick and bulky and help you with stability because a blanket can be a little um, cushy. Pause in stillness with those neutral hips, long spine, take an inhale. Keep the right knee and the right toes reaching up because we don't want to rotate our hips open or, or we don't want to externally or internally rotate our hips. Take an inhale. Exhale, fold and relax here. Keep the shoulders away from the ears though, right? Keep them back and just breathe. Breathe into the back of the right leg releasing, lengthening the hamstrings, the calves, the ankles, the lower back, which ultimately gets us to our neck, right? So 
slow and deep in your breath. Inhale, slowly lift up, shift the hips side to side again. Pause in stillness, inhale, walk forward. You can have the left palm on a block under the shoulder or on the mat. Keep those hips neutral, keep that right knee tracking the second toe. We're twisting from the torso, lifting that right arm up. So option to stay right here. Option to bend that back knee, the left knee, grab onto the ankle with your right hand. This is an option. It's not for everyone. If you bend it and if you can reach your ankle, make sure that ankle is flexed. Breathe deeply, getting a quad stretch. If you're here, if you're not, don't worry. You're getting the stretch. You're getting the benefit from the pose. I'm just giving options. If you're holding on to that ankle, slowly release, bringing that arm up and overhead. Exhale, frame that right foot. Move the blocks out of the way. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring the right arm inside of the right foot and just slide that right foot back and down. Come into child's pose. Sway side to side. Roll the wrists. Pause here and just notice the back, notice the right side of the body versus the left side by do, from doing that stretch. Does it feel different? Just notice. Pause in stillness. Bring those arms extended overhead, lifting the elbows, rotating the inner arms towards the ears and pushing the shoulders away from the ears. So many cues, right, in child's pose. Take a deep inhale, exhale it out the mouth. Inhale, slowly come up to your tabletop. Stack those, stack your joints, push between the thumb and the index finger before we do the other side. Let's take an inhale, come into your cow pose and exhale into your cat, close the eyes. Let's add on, inhale, come into your cow pose. This time we exhale, come into child's pose. Continue that exhale until you come into child's pose. And then inhale through tabletop into cow pose. Exhale, child's pose. I mean, cat pose, child's pose. Inhale, tabletop cow. One more at your own pace. We'll meet in our tabletop. Take your time getting there. Enjoy this. Once you're in tabletop, stack those joints, press between the thumb and the index finger, lift that left knee, draw it out to the side, plant the left foot, and bring that left foot between the hands. Drop the hips forward, level them off. Great place for a block. Have that left knee bent over the ankle or behind and tracking the second toe. And just find your length. Engage your core. Shift the hips neutral. Right? The right hip here will have a tendency to externally rotate. But we want to keep our hips neutral. Get an awesome right hip flexor stretch here. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, walk the blocks or your hands back, lifting the left toes. Make sure when you do that, your hips stay neutral. And walk your hands forward. And come back, lifting the toes. Nice deep breaths wherever you are. See if you can slow the breath and slow the movement down even a little more. And the next time you find yourself with those left toes lifted, begin to shift the hips side to side. Close the eyes so you can feel all the dynamic movements going on here.
pause in stillness, find those neutral hips, the knees and the toes stay lifted upright, and then exhale, fold. Keep the chest lifted. You can do a gentle tuck of the chin, protecting the neck. Just breathe deeply right here. Where are you feeling it? Breathe into it and release, right? Any tightness in the back of the legs. Have a soft bend in that left knee, though. Never lock it out. On your next inhale, slowly lift yourself up. Engage that core. Shift the hips side to side. And pause in stillness. Inhale, walk the hands forward. Plant your right palm underneath your right shoulder on a block or on the mat. Keep that left knee tracking the second toe. We inhale. Twist from the torso, lifting the left arm up and breathe. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, frame that left foot. Bring the left palm on the inside of the left foot and then get that left knee back with the right and come back into child's pose. Drop the elbows, sway side to side, tuck your chin. How do your hips feel here? Just always checking in. Pausing in stillness. Allowing the elbows to come off to the side, allowing the arms to come long by the legs with the palms facing up. Tuck your chin, rest your forehead. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, just melt over your thighs. Let the shoulders melt. Let all the muscles in your face release. Feel the entire backside of the body kind of spreading open, releasing. Feel the hips releasing. Taking a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale it out the mouth. Slowly draw the arms overhead into an active child's pose. We will take an inhale. We will slowly come back into tabletop. I want you to have the big toes touch. Open the knees wider than your thighs. Press into that left palm underneath the left shoulder. We're going to come into a shoulder stretch Rosemary, you're going to find um, an alternate an alternate if you need to, okay? And you can ask me. From here, we inhale, lift that right arm up. We exhale, slowly lower that right arm down. The twist comes from the torso. That's what lowers the arm. We reach the right fingertips to the left, right? We pause here. We bend the left elbow. We slowly lower the right shoulder down to the mat and the right side of our face on the mat. We place that right back of the arm on the mat, palms facing up. You can slide that left palm overhead to give you balance. Rosemary and anyone with shoulder issues, staying in child's pose here is great, is a great modification. So that right arm, does anybody need anything here? The right arm is under us. It's the shoulder and the right side of the head is rested on the mat. The left arm, the palm is slid forward overhead. And we just breathe here.
On your next inhale, slowly glide that left palm by your face. Press into the left palm and slowly lift yourself up. Bring, glide that right hand down across, lift it up, bend the elbow, place the right forearm on the back and just open up that right shoulder doing a gentle counter stretch right here. Keep the shoulder away from the ears. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, lower that right palm underneath the right shoulder. Inhale, twist from the torso, lift that left arm up and overhead, other side. Exhale, from the torso, begin to twist, lowering that left arm, glide it under you. Reach the left fingertips over to the right, pause. Feel the twist from your torso. Take an inhale. Exhale, slowly lower the left shoulder and the left side of the head on the mat. Left arm is on, back of the arms on the mat, palms facing up. Slowly glide that right palm forward. Close your eyes and breathe here. Slow and deep in your breath. On your next deep inhale, slowly glide the right palm by the face. Inhale, begin to push into it, lifting yourself up. Left arm glides through and then up. Bend the elbow, place the left forearm on the back and just open up that left shoulder. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, lower that left palm. Slowly come off those knees, shake them out right here. And then carefully come onto our backs, hugging the knees into the chest, rocking side to side. And pausing in stillness, we're going to end the class with a twist on each side and in our Shavasana. So let's keep the knees in, bring the arms out to a T. Tuck your shoulder blades, tuck your chin. Make sure the small of your back is connected to the mat. We're going to inhale, connect the engagement of the inner thighs and core. And when we exhale, lower the knees to the right. Have them go down as low as they need because the left shoulder needs to stay on the mat. Gaze to the left, close your eyes, energetically push the glutes towards the heels and just breathe deeply into this torso twist option to take the left arm and extend it overhead with the back of the arm on the mat, palm facing up. Wherever you are here, just close your eyes and breathe deeply, expanding out this left torso twist. Staying just as you are, take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale it out the mouth. Slowly bring your gaze back to center. Bring that left arm out to a T if it's overhead. When you inhale, engage the core and the inner thighs and carefully draw the knees into the chest. Hug them in. In stillness, squeeze them in right here. Breathe deeply. Relax the shoulders. Bring the arms out to a T. Make sure the shoulders are tucked and the chin is tucked. Inhale, engage those inner thighs in the core. Exhale, lower the knees to the left. Keep the right shoulder on the mat. Gaze to the right. Option to extend that right arm overhead. That is just an option. Option to energetically push the glutes towards the heels. Close your eyes, breathe deeply.
bringing your awareness to all the dynamic movements that are happening in your torso as the breath enters and leaves. How does it feel? Feel that expansion on the inhale. Bring your navel in closer to the spine at the bottom of the exhale. Staying just as you are, take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Carefully bring your arm out to a T if it's overhead. Bring the gaze back to center. Inhale, engage the core and the inner thighs and hug those knees in stillness. Squeeze them in and just pause and breathe deeply here. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, slowly lower the legs down, extend them long, coming into your Shavasana. So you can also have your knees bent with your feet walked out mat distance and your knees splayed in to support your lower back. If your legs are long, you can put a pillow or a blanket under your knees. Have the arms out wide, palms facing up, tuck your shoulder blades, tuck your chin and make sure that the small of your back is connected to your mat. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, allow the shoulders to melt into the mat. Release the muscles in the face. Feel the backside of the body getting heavier into the mat and just let go into your Shavasana for a few precious moments. Staying just as you are, begin to deepen the breath in the body. Roll the ankles and the wrists and wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bring the arms overhead. Give yourself a nice big body stretch. And then carefully draw one knee in at a time into the chest, hugging them both in nice and tight. Squeeze them in and roll over to the most comfortable side. Using your arm as a pillow curled up into a tiny little ball. Use the opposite palm and bring yourself upright with prayer hands at heart center, eyes closed. Slight bow of the forehead in reverence to your intention, your goal. Breathe it in. Breathe it in deeply. As we begin this new week on this beautiful, soulful Sunday, from wherever you are around the world, I wish you every ounce of peace and contentment and loving kindness as we begin this last week of spring. May all that has blossomed in this season be a part of who you are, a foundation to take you into this next season with our intention grounded in who we are. And may it be so. The divine light within me truly bows in honors to the divine, brilliant light within you. Namaste.
Okay, my friends, we can come together for a communal namaste. I'm bringing the computer closer to me so I can have a seat. Okay, can you see me okay? It's a little sunny, I know, sorry. All right. I would love for you to share your intention with me. Namaste, my friends. You can do so in the chat. You can unmute yourself and share it with me. It inspires all of us, right? Namaste, my friends. Namaste. I love Soulful Sunday. Okay, does anyone want to share? Does anybody have any questions? Want to share their intention? Put it in the chat box. All right, Charlotte, are you trying to unmute yourself? No, oh, trying to type. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, that's a great one. Thank you. Yes. Patience, right? It's not so easy. Oh, okay, as you're putting the intentions into the chat, I'm going to share my screen. Please share your experience with Get Set Up on social media, or you can email Liz at getsetup.io. Here are some related classes, and here are some of my next classes. Tomorrow, I teach three classes, vinyasa, cardio, and yoga and meditation. Those are amazing classes in one day. So fun. Um, so try to join at least one or all three if you can. It's a great day. I started teaching low impact aerobics last Tuesday. So that'll be happening every Tuesday now. So I hope you can join me for that. And just please look at the, ske look at the schedule and um, see, see what's available. We have amazing fitness guides. We have amazing guides that teach everything. So just check out the schedule and see what classes that you can take that align with your intention, right? And let, let this platform, this amazing Get Set Up platform support you in your in achieving your attention, right? To achieving your goals. Let us help you do that. We offer over 500 classes a week. Um, we do special um, special lectures now. It's incredible, so creative, all these lectures that are happening on our platform. So please just always check our schedule to see what's happening because it's some exciting stuff. You'll receive class notes. You'll receive other classes that you might be interested in and an opportunity to give feedback. Thank you to everyone who has given me feedback. It means so much to me. I learned so much from each and every one of you who give me feedback. So thank you. If you have time to do that after class, that'd be great. Get Set Up has created all these ways to invite your family and friends. So you can do so on your desktop. You can um, send them an invite on the calendar. You can copy the link when you register for a class and send it to your family and friends via email. And you can also send it to them on a mobile device. Help at getsetup.io is the email for you. If there's an interest group you would like to host, what, what are you into? What are you passionate about? Let us know. We want to invite you to be a part of the team. It's an incredible organization. Um, if you would like to see a class on the schedule that you don't already, let us know. If there is an organization that you believe aligns with the Get Set Up mission of improving and enhancing the lives of older adults, please let us know. We want to build our partnership so we can keep offering you everything you want and deserve. And also, if you don't receive a recording of this class, just request it on that, um, on that email. It's pretty hard to see. I'm sorry. It's so shadowy here because the sun is up behind me. Um, thank you for your patience at the beginning of class. Um, with the Wi-Fi wonky over there. It's really just like, I don't know, 15 feet, but it made the world of difference, right? Because I didn't freeze or anything, did I? It was mm -hmm. good. You could hear me through the whole class. Okay, great. Okay, who's going to join us tomorrow for one or two or three classes? Maybe. <laughs> All right. My fingers are crossed. Good, Pam. I'm so happy. Alma, Ida, Babette, MG. Joseph and Tatiana, I'm so happy you are all here. Rosemary, how are your shoulders? You're muted. 
I just put them in a position where they don't hurt. They don't go over my head. I just, this time I just put them laterally with the other arm. Okay. All right. I wanted to get some shoulder release um, because you requested neck, right? So, right. Our neck is connected to our shoulders, connected to our back, connected to our hips, connected to our hamstrings. So we really released. It was a full body release today. So I hope you felt that. Drink a lot of water, right? Half your body weight in ounces a day of water we need to be drinking. So take care of yourselves. Thank you for sharing your intention with me. I'm going to take a look at them. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all soon. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank Anthony, you. I'm going to take a look at the intentions before I, um, I get out, okay? All right, sure. Ah, so good. All right, Anthony, do you have an intention? Uh, can you please come again? I asked you if you had an intention for your week. Did you create an intention? Uh, not yet. <laughs> All right. Let me know when you do. Have a great yeah, week, Anthony. Sure. Thank All you right. so much thank for you. everything. Yeah, Live sure, streamers. Thank Live you streamers, thank you. We'll see you soon.